What's going on YouTube? My name is Perfectly Flawed and here I don't care what you do, what you did or who you did. We are all flawed people. But the choice is yours to do this shit perfectly. Welcome back to June is Jumping. I really do appreciate you guys for coming back. This is day five of June is Jumping, a flawed dream. This this has been so fun and it's been so crazy, but I'm not going to lie to y'all today. It's, gonna be, it's definitely going to be a rant. It's, it's going to be a rant because it's a bunch of shit that's getting on my nerves. So before we get into the rant... Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you drill that motherfucking subscribe button. Drill that bitch. Drill that bitch so hard make YouTube have to fix it. And I'm going to need y'all to go on over to Zahiri channel, a.k.a. He Slay Dreaming, and go ahead and subscribe and let them know that I sent you over there. We Fuck it up, y'all. I'm going to need y'all to fuck it up. But let's get on into this goddamn rant. Not story. Rant. Okay. A lot of the issues, we, we, we haven't really addressed anything. We haven't addressed YouTube on YouTube. If, if that makes sense, if y'all know what I'm talking about. The issue that I'm coming across is that you have a lot of, you know, smaller YouTube channels. That they main motherfucking content is talking about other fucking YouTubers. That shit is getting on my motherfucking nerves. I'm tired. I'm fucking tired of it. You got fucking people that's been on here damn near seven years. And the only fucking thing you done ever did was talk about other fucking people on YouTube. Bitch, you ain't gonna never get ahead. You ain't gonna never get ahead. When everybody gets on fucking YouTube, I think at some point they start to discover, especially if you didn't been on YouTube longer than a year. But I knew this about YouTube before I even fucking started. That's why it took me so long to start. I knew that YouTube was a fucking popularity contest. That's no different than fucking Instagram. Instagram is a popularity contest. That's all it is. So, if you a bitch that's not inspiring to be fucking popular, that's cool for you. But don't be mad at the next bitch because that's what they inspire to do. That's what YouTube is. It's a popularity contest. That's all it is. Especially when, like, take the videos that I do. If 50,000 people knew that I felt that way and I reached 50,000 people that felt that same exact way, I would be popular as well. I knew that YouTube was a popularity contest. I intend to be popular on YouTube. So, if you a bitch that's not intending to be popular on YouTube, bitch, that's your issue. So don't be mad at the next motherfucker making videos and talking all of this shit because they inspired to be fucking popular on YouTube. It ain't no different than when you go to law school and you, and you gunning and you conniving to get your ass up to, you know, being a prosecutor and all of this shit. It's by popularity. You don't get to being a just Supreme Court judge by playing the shit safe and wanting to be and, and not wanting to be a person that was gonna be seen. If you wasn't gonna be seen, maybe that was the shit you shouldn't have chose to do. Don't be mad at people, and I'm so sick of fucking hearing you bragging. You bragging. Let me explain something. Let me explain something to all of my flaws. You know I love y'all to death. I love y'all to death. But there's a difference between bragging and not apologizing for being successful. And let me explain both of them to you. Bragging is when you that motherfucker, you go to somebody's house and you call that shit cozy. You call that shit quaint. Every everything you say, say it sound like you it it you say little. Oh look at this little couch. Oh look at this little this. Oh look at this little that. Now you're bragging because you looking down on that shit as if it's not as as nice as yours. That's the fucking issue that I have with the shit. But if you a motherfucker who got on YouTube and you made ten thousand dollars in one month and you went and got you a nice motherfucking house and you decided to do a house tour and you decided to tell people, oh I'm moving. That's not bragging. That's not bragging. People is fucking killing me. Study saying that motherfuckers is bragging because they travel a lot. That is not bragging. When your mama took your ball headed dumbass to motherfucking Disney World when you was a child, and every time they had a family event, she pulled out them motherfucking photo albums because you know that's what they did back in the day. They pulled out the album on your ass and say, oh, this was our vacation and such, 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 such. Was your motherfucking mama bragging then? No, she wasn't fucking bragging. She was just get. She was just relaying an experience, relaying a happy memory to some fucking body else. Why in the fuck is everybody want to take some shit as bragging? It's not fucking bragging. Shut the fuck 
off. You just a bitter ass bitch because you didn't know that this was a popularity contest. And if you did not know, bitch, I don't know what you're doing. You the same motherfucker been on here seven goddamn years and have nothing to show for it. And I'm not talking, I'm not talking about the subscribers and your support system. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is having nothing to show for it. Bitch, you're supposed to evolve. If you're fucking around with a nigga in the 90s that sell weed, that nigga need to upgrade sooner or later. He needs to evolve. If you still selling five, ten dollars here we, weed, what are you doing with your life? You wasting your fucking time. To say the truth, you wasting your time selling drugs, period. But if you do not fucking evolve, if you trying to stay in that same motherfucking realm, it's, it's, not, it's not somebody else's fault because they became popular. It's not their motherfucking fault. It's not fucking bragging. And bitch, apparently you better because you constantly fucking making videos about other fucking people that have nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. I don't give a fuck how many people you subscribe to them because they made a video about something negative. Now you unsubscribe. Bitch! If you don't like it and you unsubscribe, go on the fuck on and mind your goddamn business. There are plenty of people that I have unsubscribed to. Plenty of fucking people that I've unsubscribed to, but I didn't feel that I had the need to put my mouth on that shit. And I'm saying this video because I'm gonna make another rap video that's gonna be along the lines of like a dear black people. Black people are killing me with having so much shit to say about other motherfuckers. So much shit to say. As a YouTuber, you should know that there is certain shit that you should just not put your mouth on. Not put your fucking mouth on it. Everybody is responsible for their words and I am a motherfucker that is fully fucking aware of that fully fucking aware of that. Plenty of people have been pissed off by some shit that I said and I could give two fucks. Because if you were offended, you were meant to be offended. You got people on here faking it. Come talking about some, I'm not trying to bash and I'm not trying to do then No, bitch, yeah, you were. Because the people that, that did get upset, them was the motherfuckers I intended to be upset. Because I was talking about them. If I was talking about a bitch and motherfucking leggings and lip balls and the discoloration of the crotch of her motherfucking leggings. Bitch, I meant for you to be offended by that shit. I meant for you to be about that offended by that shit. Bitch, that's, that's reading. That's reading. I'm gonna read your ass, but I'm not reading you from a hateful place. I'm reading your motherfucking ass to let you know, bitch, you need to elevate. You need to elevate. I'm okay with a motherfucker reading me on some fucked up shit that I didn't did. I'm okay with that. To me, it's nothing but comedic criticism. It's comedic criticism. But then you got bitter ass bitches out here who never fucking upgrade. Who hell look at a plum ass fucking fool. Now, I know I ain't one to dog, but that's the reason motherfucker hat. You don't see it. You, you don't fucking see it. I mean, I'm gonna do it sooner or later. I'm gonna go ahead and do my goddamn hell because it is been a minute. But you a bitch that's always on my fucking camera looking a hot ass fucking fool. You the, you know the bitches that I hate. The bitches that talk so much shit. Talk so much shit about what another bitch do as far as hair, as far as makeup. And that bitch don't wear none of that shit. But that bitch need all of that shit. Like bitch, you need to shut the fuck up. You need to shut the fuck up. Oh, I don't wear foundation. I don't wear foundation. Bitch, you need to. And I and trust me. Okay, I got a friend, and I'm just gonna name her Lashes. I'm gonna name her Lashes. Lashes, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about another person. But I, I, don't, I don't have to drop motherfucking names. It is what it is because I'm talking about the scenario. I cannot stand when bitches who don't do what other motherfuckers do is out here talking shit about the fact that they do it. Bitch, you need to be doing. It. You need to be doing. It. So you need to shut the fuck up and you need to go on about your way. You, you the bitch that got on here for seven motherfucking years and ain't done shit with yourself. Ain't done shit with your life. Ain't done shit with it. Ain't done shit with it. I am not going to be on here no fucking seven years and my subscribers I can count on my goddamn hands. I'm not. And, and I don't mean literally, but that motherfucking small you damn near should be. Especially when you're talking about YouTube. No. 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 Because my objective was to reach people with the same thought process that I had. With that they may think the same way I do, or reach a person who don't think the way I do, and maybe change their perspective on some things. I'm not trying to make you change your life completely, but I want to open your eyes to something different. If you a bitch that's on here and the only motherfucking yours you got is to talk shit about other YouTubers, bitch, you need to grow the fuck up. You need to grow the fuck up and you need to shut the fuck up. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. I'm so sick. Now, even when it comes down to subscribers, and I'm not going to talk about my subscribers because y'all know I love y'all and y'all don't do this shit. But people who out here talking shit about the ads that are on videos, bitch, it's not coming out of your pocket. How do you have an issue with it? You're not paying for a damn thing. I was watching another YouTuber, and that YouTuber said something that was spot fucking on. He said, you all are subscribed to a free service. So what the fuck else that is entitled to how another motherfucker get paid? Why do you have your mouth on that situation, bitch? It don't have shit to do with you. You're not paying. Okay, the way these ads are set up, now I don't know what bigger, you know, YouTubers, but the way they set up, 20, 200 people can watch some shit. 
and I get two cent off the shit. Bitch, you mad at me for getting two fucking pennies? Two fucking pennies. You mad at me for getting two pennies, which means if I was in your face and I needed two fucking pennies to do something, bitch, I could not get it from you. So why do you care? Why do you care? The ads on these fucking videos have absolutely nothing to fucking do with you. It's no different than when you at fucking home. When the commercial come on, you get your ass up, you walk away, you get something to drink, you go to the bathroom, your ass up, call, you make a call, whatever. What fucking ever? You pay that shit thus and you pay that shit no never mind. But because motherfuckers is here on YouTube, you got all of these fucking people who having such a fucking issue with goddamn YouTube ads. Which ain't even back a hundred fucking percent. So how the fuck is people still complaining? How the fuck is content creators going around talking about some I'm anti-YouTube abs? What? Bitch, I don't give a fuck if it's a million goddamn abs. Ad, abs. If it's a million motherfucking ads. If it's a million motherfucking ads on my goddamn videos. If you don't like the shit, don't fucking watch my shit. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. Do you know how much of an investment YouTube is? And, I, and, I, and I'm talking to, you know, the general public, not just my people, not just other people. I'm talking to the general public. This shit is an investment. It's no different than going to college. This is going to be a situation. This is something that they give you. Let's say this is YouTube. Whether you're going to go up, whether you're going to stay stagnant, or whether you're going to go down, it depends on what the fuck you do with it. Putting a YouTube ads will help you reinvest back into this channel. It will help you reinvest back into whatever you claiming that your brand is going to be. Whether you're selling swag to your motherfucking subscribers, whatever. Whatever. Doing music, whatever. This is an investment. Investment. That's all it is. These goddamn cameras are not free. This motherfucking link right that got my ass up here swiffering and sweating and shit is not free. It's not free. This back, this motherfucking uh, uh, softbox light and this goddamn backdrop is not free. This is shit that had to come out of people's pocket. And I'm and it's getting on my nerves that you study saying motherfuckers is bragging on this shit. Because they made some money that did not come out of your fucking pocket. They did not come out of your fucking pocket. The messed up part about it is that video I just gave with the goddamn green screen took me 16 fucking hours to do. That goddamn intro took me 17 fucking hours to do. So that when you got motherfuckers downgrading because you are enjoying the fruits of your labor, you ain't telling that shit to the goddamn neurosurgeon who living in a, 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 10, 000, a 10 million dollar ass motherfucking house that he shouldn't enjoy his nice shit. Which if you go on half of the motherfucking doctor's Facebook pages, Instagrams, hell, Dr. Pill, what's, what's, what's her name, Dr. Pill Popper or whatever, she's been on national fucking TV and you, bet, you, you better bet your ass that bitch didn't get on fucking TV without a brand on her ass. That don't make you fucking bragging. It don't make you, it don't make you the type of person to think that you better than somebody because you enjoy having nice shit. It is not bragging because you enjoy being fucking successful. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to enjoy being successful no matter how it is that you enjoy the shit. Whether you go on vacations, whether you pocket all your money, because at the end of the day, even the shit that people say means so much, like these love and these connections, you don't take that shit with you when you go. Same way you don't take this motherfucking, uh, 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 this goddamn camera, the, the $10,000 in motherfuckers bank account that they make in a month, they don't take that shit with them and you don't take the love of other motherfuckers with you either because you die alone in the dark. Once your senses start to go, your eyesight go. Your eyesight is the first to go. So you in the motherfucking dark. By yourself. I am dead ass sick of this shit. Shut the fuck up. If you're not gonna be a bitch that's inspiring to be popular, don't be mad at another bitch who is. That's your fault you're not popular. It's no different than motherfuckers who aren't physically attractive. You can't be mad at me because I was born that way. Bitch, that's a birthright. Don't be mad at me because you don't look like me. Don't be mad at me because you don't do what it is that I do. Bitch, either upgrade yourself or shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's it and that's all. Stop being mad at people for fucking being successful. They're being successful. And because bitter ass, jealous ass fucking people is taking it upon themselves to go and rob them, what the fuck are they supposed to do? Not live their life? Unless you putting your address in your fucking videos, unless you put in the front of your house where they know exactly where the shit at, or, or you're making sure that every fucking Instagram video or post that you do, you put in your GPS fucking location, that's what's getting people fucked up. Stop putting your goddamn location. But do not, do not, do not apologize for fucking being successful because that's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do. When you go to college and you're inspiring to have this goddamn fabulous fucking career and this career that generates you so much money, what was you supposed to do with it? What was you supposed to do with it?
This world is full of jealous ass, naysaying ass, bitter ass fucking people. And they need to shut the fuck up. That's what they need to do. You need to shut the fuck up. I, I really hope y'all didn't lose people on this situation, but it's like I don't, I don't have time for this pussiness. This, to me, that's pussy. That's pussy. You mad because another motherfucker is enjoying their life. The fucked up part about it is I don't give a fuck if they post a 10 karat diamond three ways till Sunday. Bitch, what that got to do with you? What that got to do with you and your motherfucking content? Half of these smaller fucking YouTubers would not have fucking content if it wasn't for the shit talking that they do about other YouTubers who genuinely take responsibility and take interest in their motherfucking crap. They take interest in their craft or what it is that they put out to their support system on fucking YouTube. Bitch, only thing you doing is piggybacking, you swagjacking, bitch. The only thing you doing is taking my positive and turning it into a negative. I don't give a fuck if you talked about sucking a nigga's dick eight ways till Christmas. That's what it is that I decided to talk about. It's not about you to have a motherfucking opinion about the shit. And if you do, know that everybody is responsible for their motherfucking opinion. Again, I'm very fucking well aware of that. People kill me with this no bullying and all of this and all of that. But you real quick to tell a motherfucker words can't hurt you. Oh, words can't hurt you, but when I called your mama a dumbass, bald-headed ass, dick-sucking bitch, and you got offended by that shit, oh, words hurt it then, didn't it? They hurt it then, didn't it? So shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm done. I'm done ranting about it. I'm finna let it go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for coming back to day five. Day five of June is jumping. Make sure that you go over to Zahiri's channel and destroy his motherfucker subscribe button. Let him know that Flaw sent y'all on over there. Remember that we are all Flaw people, but the choice is yours to do it perfectly. And I will be out and I'm gone. Peace.